giving you a voice, and making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. So one of the greatest uh, events of the year, obviously, is IRI. So before we start, we're just going to do a quick roundtable, and uh, all the great hosts here are going to kind of give us their thoughts on what you're most looking forward to at IRI, what you like most about IRI, and just your general thoughts uh, before we get into it. So, Christine, let's start with you. What are, your, uh, what are you thinking about IRI? I'm excited to see how things pan out this year. You know, looking at the list of, you know, accepted teams and teams that were going, um, it's a lot of really good teams. I'm going to be, thankfully, watching from the comfort of my own couch you know, being able to get up and walk away from it. But if you are there, make sure you eat an extra baked potato for me. I am sad that I will not be there to consume it. And I'm always excited to see the uh, the auction items that get put in. So, yeah, should be good. Tegan, what about you? Tegan, I think, sorry. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, for IRI this year, one thing I'm looking forward to is actually the large presence of international teams this year uh, coming from outside North America. So you've got Wingus and Dingus. You've got... Uh, uh, 1690 coming from Israel, so that'll be pretty awesome to see, you know, a little bit more uh, that global outreach coming actually to this one, you know, great event of the year. And then also seeing some offensive teams play defense is always a fun time, so uh, that's going to be something that I'll be looking forward to watching also from the comfort of my own couch. Ben, what about you? You're actually going to be there, right? Yeah, I am actually going to be there. It's actually my 12th IRI, believe it or not, so oh. it's it's going to... Uh, IRI is one of my favorite competitions. I've always have so much fun going there. I really like how they have structured the whole competition to basically facilitate these super powerful robots playing against each other, where you get to pick up, uh, they were the original pioneers of adding the, the backup team as part of your alliance and, uh, and picking that team. And sometimes this day and age, that backup robot is actually better than the captain. So, huh. I mean, IRI <laughs> just goes so deep and it's so fun to watch. Absolutely. And Tower, our other IRI attendee, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm only going to be there on Saturday this year, guys. Not emceeing the event uh, for the first time since, uh, what, lead MC since 2014. And then uh, I was doing a couple years under Paul Copilli under that. So uh, passing the torch on, I think Yoji is going to be the MC. Uh, so interesting to see what he brings to the table. Uh, for that, but I'll be there on Saturday to uh, do interviews. Uh, you know, IRI, absolutely fantastic event every year. Uh, I'm with Hagen. There's a lot of cool teams coming from uh, outside the area. With uh, we got a team from Israel and from Mexico. Uh, and uh, where, where's Wingus and Niggas from again? New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealand. I mean, that's that's cool to see. Uh, just that multiculturalism. <laughs> Uh, coming in uh, to the event, of course, as uh, some of the top tier teams, uh, missing some of the teams from the Houston championships, uh, but definitely a lot of great ones from Detroit. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it shakes up. I'm not sure, you know, if uh, our world champions will be IRI champions as well, too. So it'd be great to see that mix up. And that, that's kind of what I look forward to is that teams get a decent amount of matches. I love the line selection process. Uh, of course, love the corn uh, every single year as well, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, it's just the epitome of what an FRC event should be. The competition is, it's fierce, but also, is at least for me, the, the years we've attended, it's been relaxed at the same time. Like, everyone is competing really hard, but it's not over-the-top pressure. It's, the environment is really, uh, it's really, it makes for some exciting matches and uh, a lot of good stuff. So it's unfortunate that I'm, I'm missing it this year. Um, but everyone that's going and watching and participating, they're sure to have a, a great time. Yeah, definitely. Speaking of like the, you know, the laid back atmosphere, I remember the last time that my team went, most of my students spent most of the in between match time sitting on the floor playing video games. So it's, it's nice to see that students and mentors are kind of, you know, like you said, relaxed and kicked back, but still competing their butts off. Sure. So this is the 20th year of IRI, oh. which is crazy. Um, and some of the greatest parts about IRI are also happening off the field. So this year, the IRI charity will be focused around raising funds to help pay for the registration cost of Team Impulse 4418, who tragically lost its their team member, Frederick Castillo, after a school shooting in May. So that's a really amazing thing. Um, I always love seeing, you know, the, the camaraderie of the first community helping other communities. So that's a, a really great thing going on this year. So paired with that is the IRI auction, um, where some of the coolest items are donated and up for bid. So this can range from uh, robot assemblies like Symbotics Elevator to the custom art pieces that I've thrown in there, Girl Scout cookies, which are pretty awesome. Um, and what's everybody's favorite past IRI auction item? Um, Chat, we want to hear from you as well. So, Tegan, let's start with you. What is your most memorable or favorite auction item? So I've never actually been able to go to an IRI um, event myself, but I've heard lots of amazing things about 33 Swerve module. So uh, with that, you know, it would be super cool to see one of those, like, up close in person because I've never, uh, you know, really gotten a good look at it. But mm. definitely 33 Swerve. Yeah. Ben, what about you? 
Yeah, I've always been a fan of the quilts that they have at IRI, oh, yeah. where they, for a long time, they took almost every team shirt that they could find, and someone stitched them into a quilt that almost always sold for 500 bucks every year. Mm-hmm. It was uh, it was pretty crazy. I don't know that they've been doing it quite as frequently or necessarily every year anymore, but it sure is. It's always been pretty impressive to watch these quilts come together. I would agree with you. And for most people, I don't think people realize how much work goes into making a quilt. It is <laughs> bonkers um justin what about you before we look at some of the chat items uh for me i uh it's actually an item that i bought um every, <laughs> oh everyone, i think i know everyone, the <laughs> everyone knows I'm, I'm a huge barker redbacks fan um and off of their robot in 2017 uh they had a front plate on the robot that said barker Ooh. redbacks on it and i thought it was cool um because that robot and that team, they won uh, four regionals that year on three different continents. So That's the crazy. robot, yeah, the mm-hmm. robot had been all over the place, and um, it's featured prominently in their robot release video. So me and a buddy pulled some money together and, and bought it, um, and it hangs in my classroom proudly. So it's one of my favorite things for sure. Oh man, that's epic! So a few people in chat were saying, let's see, Conor McBride, like the I tried my best towel. Way to go. Um, 971 Serializer from 2017. There was a massive bidding war going on with that. I think I was putting in remote bids for somebody <laughs> that year. But um, Nick Lawrence ended up taking it home. And it was, I don't know. I, I think it's really cool to see the robot parts there. Um, yeah. My first year at IRI, I think it was Symbotics, um, like, roller claw thing that was, like, coated in this weird material was there, too. So, um, personally, one of my favorites is the small... Um, figurines like the the mini models of all the different robots like really famous robots uh, that okay. were put in there they're like made of like really thin balsa wood and they are epic I can't remember who made them but I like remember watching the person bring them in and like put them out and I was like oh my god <laughs> like how did you even make those so I'm excited to see um, pictures hopefully of when those you know get put out this year so I don't know if and you I guys had, remember yeah. the uh, the 3D printed chair. That was my favorite. There was two chairs yeah. and a table that was entirely oh, 3D that's printed. Right. I, I think, think in yeah. 2016 or 2017. That was probably my favorite yeah. thing out of all of them. I think that was 2017, and John Kenfield, I believe, won that, and he was in a bidding war with like Don Bozzi. Yeah, Don Bozzi was phoning really? in bids. Really? Yeah. yeah, he was phoning <laughs> in bids. That, that's that's crazy. cool, actually. That's what I'm looking forward to this weekend is phoning in some bids. I have some friends that will be there, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> Oh, man, you'll have to let me know what you're bidding on so I can beat you. Ah. Okay, <laughs> well, there's the little figurines that are coming up on screen, by the way. I don't know I don't know yeah. who makes those, but those are really cool. Yeah, I, I think it's somebody in Indiana. Um, maybe somebody in chat will know. But oh, man, other things... my white balance is so far off. We'd actually be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody said um, there was a cornhole set last year that was really cool. Yeah. Um, anything else? No. Just like a lot of oh, there's the figurines. There's broken rope from the sounds of it. Uh, hot oh, yeah. broken rope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's from LC nine ten. Says that. It, that's also one of my favorite things. Sometimes like stuff will break during the competition, and I just throw it in the auction. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.